Hello, welcome to our new home. We have moved into an apartment. Basically, we've gone this year from thinking we we're gonna travel around the whole world to moving back to Australia into our bus. Now, here we are in an apartment by the ocean. The kids have their own room. So much has been going on. So I'm going to give a much more in-depth life update in another video. But basically, I need to get all of the rest of my clothing out of the bus. We've been here for about a week and a half and I've been really putting it off. So I figured, I'm going to make a video and bring you along as I declutter, go through all of my stuff and just set up our wardrobe space. I'm so excited that I have a place to hang my clothes after like three years of living in a van and then a bus and just having crinkly clothes. So let's go to the bus and begin. Okay, so here's the bus parked up under a tree with bird poop all over it. Wow, there's a lot of bird poop. Okay, oh, it's not too bad in here. All right, so I have a container. I'm gonna empty everything that's left in the bus. This is my clothes drawer. A few years ago, I filmed a video of every single thing I owned. We were living in our first van. I think it was like 20 something pieces of clothing. I got pretty into minimalism and all of that stuff. So I wanna have a chat about that, where I'm at with it now and yeah, go through my clothes because it's it's certainly time. So put everything into this container here. I don't know if it's gonna fit. All right, so that is the drawer that I have usually kept all my clothes in. If I can fold them really nice and neat, I can fit most, nearly everything in, buy some jumpers, but that's the container now. And obviously I've got stuff upstairs as well. So I have quite a bit more than 20 pieces of clothing these days. Ah! gonna put everything onto the bed and get everything out of my cupboard right now so like I said we've just moved into a unit this is the wardrobe space well it's double-sided but we're gonna put a desk here so we've got this space some of those drawers are Chris's so the kids clothes so I've got two of those drawers a couple of things hanging here a couple of things up the top there that I need to go through all my bikinis and underwear in a random light this is now everything that I own. I have a small amount of time whilst I use asleep. Today's class is about minimalism, which for me is fine. And whilst I do this, I find it really helpful to listen to something inspiring that's not really distracting me from what I'm doing. So today I'm listening to a Skillshare class called Everyday Minimalism, Find Calm and Creativity in Living Simply by Erin Boyle. And I love Erin's definition of minimalism, finding peace by living simply. And in this class, she shares her flexible approach to minimalism with steps designed to help you build a peace for fulfilling life at any stage. I love that Erin doesn't just focus on what you might need to get rid of, but also how you can let in more of what you love, which I think is the most important part about this whole process. If you are not familiar with Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people helping you to explore new skills, develop existing interests and get lost in creativity. If you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or you just wanna join a creative community, Skillshare is a place to keep you learning. So I'm so stoked to tell you that Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 1000 people who click the link in the description box to help you explore your creativity. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So basically I've just folded everything to start with. There's just, you know, piles of pants and track pants. I've got my jumpers. I've got my t-shirts here. I've got my like crop tops and singlet tops and stuff like that. I've got my casual shorts. Then I've got everything I want to hang up in the wardrobe. And then I've got just a couple of random parts I know about. This is just stuff that doesn't fit me or that I'm 
love and want to give to friends and family and i wanted to say like decluttering and minimalism and stuff obviously doesn't just apply to the wardrobe and it's really about getting rid of all the things that take up your time energy that might stress you out but they don't bring any real like meaning or joy into your life and that's just going to look so different for everyone and some people might have a wardrobe of clothes that bring them a lot of joy that they keep nice and tidy that it really is contributing to their life in a beautiful way for them to express themselves and that might look completely different for someone else um, and I just don't want to get bogged down with any sort of like strict labels or anything like that at all because I feel like that's restrictive and really goes against the point of it all i mean when you look at minimalism online and stuff like that some people are really really extreme with it and that is completely fine but i just don't want that to put anyone off starting because it's such a freeing process to go through all of your things and just have it nice and clear and tidy so that was starting to hurt um for me actually it reminds me a bit of money when i feel like i'm ignoring it and not managing it i start you know spending it on silly stuff i'm not saving it it's so stressful and then i really avoid dealing with it because i'm like it's sort of overwhelming and scary but when i'm just like okay i just need to look at it and get really clear at where i'm at it's just really really freeing because you feel like you've taken some sort of like control again and it's just so important for mental health and all of that stuff so i find the same with clothes it's overwhelming at the start but you just get into it and it feels really good and at the end of it you're just so much clearer okay yeah it's i suppose not too much when i have it out like this i'm gonna start putting it away into the drawers there now so this is where i'm at the bigger chunky stuff like trackies and jumpers i've put up there so they don't take up all the space then i've got all of my dresses and things hanging up I've got my two drawers and I haven't jam packed everything in. I mean, there's actually, I'm going to thin this out like this. I really try not to cram everything in too much. It just gets way too messy then. But I've got in this top drawer here, I've got all my workout tights. I wear these nearly every single day. And then the t-shirts that I wear, that's what I just exercise in. And then under it, I have my other casual clothes. So just my shorts and a skirt and then the crops they're like my favorite things to wear and then i've got those bike pants and a workout crop there um so that's everything and then over here i've got all of my underwear and bikinis that i still need to go through i am avoiding that and then i've got the stuff here that i still absolutely love beautiful things but i don't wear it enough or it's not the right size so yeah i'm giving this to a friend this skirt is so beautiful it doesn't fit me though i absolutely adore this skirt here but i just don't wear it enough and i feel like it's not quite my style and then a couple of other things like this hemp top i just don't wear this same thing here um that's the wrong size that's my mum's i need to give that back to her and this was just like a cheap top that um it's just discolored and not very nice and there's a somehow these stains on it and then I've got these overall things here that are just too small for me I think it's so beautiful as well so that's some of the stuff that I've gotten rid of the color's a bit weird in here so it's hard to see but I'm going to show you a couple of pieces and tell you about some of my favorite brands these are my newest dresses here I love this dress it's from um just like a local brand I just think it's so pretty. This is my newest dress. It's like my Mother's Day dress. It's an Arnhem dress. This is by The Bear Road. I just really like this color and the thin straps at the top. This is an Arnhem flared top. These are from my friend. We did a bit of a clothes swap. I wear them a lot. And then these are the other overalls I wear so regularly. I actually designed these with Indigo Luna. Actually, that's what I need to tell you about. I designed a whole linen range with Indigo Luna and so beautiful and so excited we've had to postpone the release of that but in the meantime we're actually re releasing soon a collection of their most popular pieces and an exclusive colorway that is so amazing i can't wait to show you all they're basically my favorite organic cotton pieces of theirs plus an extra piece um, is going to be released very, very soon. So I'll keep you posted about that. So this is a little sneak of something I designed with them. This romper is 
by the bare road and just a super comfy romper then i've got some dresses this one is okay the label see how crinkled it is it's going to be so nice to be able to hang this stuff and then these dresses all of them are from probably one of my favorite clothes brands oh pr these are just like really pretty dresses that i don't wear every day but just make me feel so good when I wear them. I'm keeping this one for pregnancy. And this is another dress I designed with Indigo Luna. And then this is my like ultimate dream pregnancy dress that I'm keeping by Opia as well. I wear this dress, this is probably my most worn dress. It's got like a lower back and just these ties that's from Opia. Here are some overalls that I really like wearing. I was gonna sell this dress as well. It's super pretty, I just don't wear it enough. Another sneak peek of something I designed with Indigo Luna. And then I've got some sarongs and things just on this one. Okay, it is me in the future now. Um, I was peeking over Chris's shoulder as he was editing and I realized I forgot to speak about something that I really wanted to. And that is the fact that I do have a larger social media following. And over the years, I have made friends with small business owners and brands and I have been gifted some of these pieces. So I haven't paid for them all myself. I'm super selective with who I do choose to work with. I've nearly always brought from brands myself before I'll agree to working with them but yes some of these clothes have been gifted to me and I just wanted to address that because I know that um, more like ethical sustainable brands do come with a higher price tag for good reason I mean they're paying their workers fairly the the materials more expensive there's a much more lengthy process with natural dyes and there's a lot more that goes into it when I learned more about the fast fashion industry quite a few years ago I decided that that is it I am only going to purchase from like brands that actually care about their impact on the environment and their practices also at that time I felt like I couldn't afford to and I didn't have much money so what I did was I went through everything that I did own and sold the bulk of it you'd be quite surprised how much you can make when you sell off pieces of clothing for like 10 15 dollars but i had a lot more back then because i was supporting fast fashion and just buying clothes way more frequently but at like way cheaper prices so what i did to start was i stopped buying stuff and i started selling stuff and then with that money i invested it into a few select pieces that i had for literally years and wore so frequently and that just made me feel really good and that's how i started and i've had huge success buying and selling on depop which is like a secondhand clothing site i know there's like quite a few different ones but i'll search my favorite brands like opia and arnhem and shop pastel and buy things that way at like hugely discounted prices so i just wanted to share that and yes okay we can carry on with the video now <laughs> i wanted to pull out a few pieces that i wear the most regularly just my favorite things in case anyone was curious so these jeans i go for like the mum fit straight leg jean and usually roll up the bottoms but i wear these a lot they're the brand dr denim so that's probably one of my most worn things right now and then the things i kept in here that i wear nearly every day when I exercise are the Indigo Luna organic cotton tights. I just really like wearing organic cotton over even synthetic fabrics like this. It just feels better to me. And this is the sort of stuff I'm coming out with an exclusive colorway with Indigo Luna. So that's exciting. And then my t-shirts, I really love white t-shirts, but they just don't work well being a mum. <laughs> They're never white, that's what I want to show you. But I love hemp. You can see the fabric. Hemp organic cotton blend shirts are my absolute favorite. I just think they wash really well. And I like wearing them just with tights to exercise in and they're just good everyday clothes. So that's one of my favorites at the moment. I really like the brand of Fens for um, t-shirts. It's more of a local brand. Chris's t-shirts are all hemp from a Fens basically. This is an a Fens one. I love distressed stuff and this color in particular, but I wear this shirt a lot. Faded t-shirts you love. I know, I love a faded t-shirt. Me, I do not. <laughs> And I also wear a lot of Chris's t-shirts, let's be honest. So they're sort of my most worn tops. Oh, I wear these tights a fair bit as well. I love these. They're all naturally dyed, a small business from the States. It's called, let me show you, Perusha. 
Oh, and these tights are the another pair of Indigo Lunar Organic Cotton in a new colour they've done. I think they're a super pretty colour, so I wear them a lot. Okay, I'm just chucking these back in and I just folded them. <laughs> them so Alright, so they're probably my most worn clothes, just t-shirts and tights, and then in the like more casual clothing. I wear crops a lot with shirts like this. This is a shirt that's uh, hemp linen. It's by the brand, brand Hemp Clothing Australia. And this is really big on oh, me. I can hear the kids. <laughs> this is really big on me, but I get a size that Chris and I can both share. He wears it as well. Shirts like this, a button up shirts with just a little bralette or a crop, like these sorts of crops that I've got here. This is like definitely my everyday wear. I've got a pair of opia linen shorts down there, a shop pastel skirt, and then an oak, oaky the label pair of shorts. I also wear these all the time. They're indigo luna workout bike shorts. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these. And that's basically it. That's just like my everyday clothes. These are more of like the prettier stuff. I really just try to go for natural fabrics. You can see that I've definitely gone through like a greeny brown earthy colors. I love natural dyes and yeah linen's probably my favorite dress fabric. And whilst we're here I do want to show you my favorite track pants. There's two different styles. They're like a thicker one and these are a thinner one. I've had these for well over a year. Let me show you. They're a brand called Organic Crew and they're a tracky like this. This is the thinner style one. I think they're called the Crew Pant and this is their thicker style one. And the quality of these is amazing. They're made out of organic cotton. They're made in Australia. The price point on them is definitely more expensive than just like going to Target or something. But they last so well. I wear them nearly every single day and I have some of them for well over a year and they've just maintained their shape and quality so much better than cheaper things like Bonds say. Um, so whilst it's initially like a little more expensive, they just last way longer and I love the cut of them. And then the other thing, I've got my Arnhem flares there and I've got these pants actually. These are like a cotton knit pant and they're just the Best. they're just a bit more fun and they're by a brand a local brand i met her at the markets they're called orbit the label they're like ridiculously comfortable and yeah i love them right, now the thing i have been dreading <laughs> so these are my bikinis if you've been following for a while i had one pair of bikinis that I had for honestly like probably a year and a half. I just had one pair. There's some underwear in here too, but this is the bikini situation now. I do not want to go through these. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, a lot of these, I'm just gonna take out a heap of them because they're samples I was doing. I was designing a bikini for the collection that I've done and a lot of these have been samples, so I'm going to gift them to friends because they're amazing and stuff, but just I don't need this many samples. So let me quickly take out the samples of clothing. So yeah, I've got some underwear in here and some swimmers in here and quite a bit seems like a lot okay i just went through my swimmers and some of my underwear but the kids were being so loud so i'm just going to quickly show you a couple of things if you follow me on instagram you'll know probably that i wear these crops because sometimes that's all i wear they're by hara the label and i have them in like a heap of different colors this is the lower cut one this is the higher cut hara one and yeah i've just got them in heap of various colors. I've collected them over the years. I used to wear really cheap underwear and didn't really see the point in getting more expensive undies. Over the years I've really shifted on that and just having good quality things that I wear every single day like underwear or use every day like sheets. It just makes you feel so good to have amazing fabrics and stuff like that. And I prefer to put my money into things I'm using every single day as opposed to buying an expensive dress that I wear you know once or twice a year i wear two different sorts of undies high-waisted ones which chris doesn't love as much but i really like these during pregnancy and just like to wear to bed at night with a t-shirt um, but mainly i wear the g-string style ones in the indigo lunar or hara ones 
So I probably got maybe like 10 of those. And then my bikinis. I took out a heap of the samples that I've been working on and I'll show you more of that when and if it's released later on, maybe at summertime. But I've got about seven different pairs now. They're all from Recycled Fabrics. The newest ones that I've been wearing are by Coco and Koi. So I love this brand. It's by my friend. She paints all of the prints. So there's these ones. I love them because I can work out and then it goes straight in the ocean. They're designed for surfing. So I think I've got two sets of them. So I'm definitely keeping them. By the way, I'm probably not going to get rid of any of my bikinis. This is my probably oldest pair. It's when Indigo Luna first um, started a top. Some bottoms I wear with that. Then I've got snorkel bar ones made out of also recycled stuff. I've got those two prints from them. And then I've got this Burrows & Co one here that I really love the cut. I've got this one from my friend. I think her brand is pronounced Salte, but it's like a super buttery, soft, recycled fabric. And she does the prints as well. And I've got a one piece by a Fens. But yeah, that's my bikinis. I'm going to put them in the, with the undie drawer next to my bed. And we are done. Okay, it is the next day now. I didn't get a chance to wrap the video up yesterday. I had to sort some stuff out with the kids, but my wardrobe is clean and it feels really good. It's so nice for me to have stuff hanging and to be actually able to see it because for years I've had my clothes tucked away in tiny little drawers in a van, in a bus or in our suitcase. And so it feels really good. I wanted to chat about a few things and to start with, I want to say it feels somewhat superficial to talk so seriously about clothing but until you go through your things and like let go of stuff it's hard to understand how freeing and good it really does feel and I was amazed to realize how much the things that we own not just our clothes but all of our possessions really do weigh us down and not only clutter our spaces and lives but also clutter our minds and my whole journey with this really started when I became a new mum and was spending so much time tidying up crap in our home that I actually didn't even care about because I had all of these expectations of what it needed to look like to be a family and to be a mom and, and all of this stuff like what we needed in our house and it wasn't like bringing me joy it was stressing me out for me it was sort of a few years ago that I realized I needed to figure out what it meant to create a meaningful life for me and for my family and that it was going to look really different for someone else and that was completely okay and it's been a journey like I said it was quite extreme to start with getting rid of everything we owned and moving into a bus because I was sort of desperate to create real change in our lives and now I've sort of like loosened up on that and there's more balance and it looks different again now and now we have more space I'll probably like have a few more things but for me what it's really about is when you let go of the things that don't bring joy and meaning to your life it's not just your clothes it's like everything you have it's the commitments you make all of that sort of stuff you do create time and space and have more energy to get clear on what you actually do love and you're not just doing these meaningless things that don't make you happy you know and since we're all at home I so encourage you to clear out some of your own spaces and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video like I said I'm going to update you on where we're at and where we're living and all of that sort of stuff in another video and yeah I just wanted to say that if you have been watching our videos for a while now that like I'm so grateful and thank you so much. I know we're entering a new season now. We're not living in our bus. We're not traveling, which is a lot of what our content has been about. So if you're here watching and sticking around, yeah, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you're well and sending my love.